Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with one more new tutorial. So modeling a 3D stage, modeling, texturing and lighting a 3D stage in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So let's take a reference, go into rendering, view image file and we'll take a stage reference over here. We have a stage reference. We'll be taking this as a reference we are going to model this texture it and light it so very first of all if you are going to start with the units you can just take a unit setup also so first let's take a plane over here let's go to the top view over here just resize this stuff let's take a line tool over here we'll be creating this part so uh, even you can take a line tool or also or else you can just go into this and let's just take a rectangle over here so let's take a rectangle like this so after taking a rectangle over here let's set it to 90 degree over here press E and rotate it and just push it over here in this way till here so let's go into this convert to editable spline let's go into vertices and just we'll push it a bit inside over here select this convert to editable spline go into the vertices and let's just push this vertices a bit back over here so select this again just push it more towards this side push this more towards this this side so after it is done over here now what I'm going to do over here is like let's select this part I think uh, we'll just freeze this select this and let's just attach it with this <clears throat> so we can easily attach it after you have attached it let's select this spline and you have an option over here that's called boolean with this so once you are done over here so you can uh, go into this you can also go into this customize unit setup standard click ok and let's give a modifier that's called extrude modifier let's give a extrude modifier and for example the height of this is like 1.2 feet so uh, <clears throat> so we'll keep it as 1.2 feet or inches that's your if you want to increase it more we can increase it more over here we'll set to 2 feet so that can be uh, defined accordingly over here so definitely we'll be increasing it more so let's keep it to okay much better now after that is done over here let's just unfreeze all I'll just scale this now what we'll be doing over here is like uh, I'll again go into this and convert to editable poly I'll just push it a bit behind over here in this way and now we'll just create this backside area for that we'll be going to the top view over here let's go to the top view over here let's just take a box over here at the <coughs> center over here so let's just take a box at the center you can just increase its height a bit after you are done with this you can just see properly over here how it is like okay it's going uh, in the cross manner so just keep it at 
one side over here we can just reduce its length and width a bit so again we can take the same box if you want you can just take the same box we can just scale a bit over here and let's just rotate it just rotate it over here just rotate it not much a bit so if you want to extrude it you can go with the extrusion also not a problem so definitely uh, what I'll be doing over here is like uh, al although I'll just convert to editable poly select the vertices we'll go into this and we can just world or local or whatever you can just push it a bit more inside over here in this way after that let's select the vertices just drag it down and again duplicate this stuff over here let's just rotate it scale it and go again to the top view over here just make it straighter and just push it over here so now once you are done once you are done with this I can easily go into this and I can go over here and I can just mirror it in Y axis and I can just sorry in X axis and I can just make a copy of it I can just go to the top view over here I'll just push it over here in this way that's it so we can just select this whole element and let's just give a color to it after that now what we can do over here is like we also need to create some stairs kind of the stuff over here that can be easily created so let's again take a box over here let's go to the top view and let's just take a box over here so we can just take a box over here just drag it in this way and just duplicate it up and just scale it you can just scale it so after that it is done you can just press shift and drag it again duplicate it over here so let's just save the file save it with stage underscore one okay so once you're done over here now let's go into this and create this details so for this details what we'll be doing over here is like how we can create this details we can go into this view and select this and let's take a copy of it first and let's just make it straighter let's just make it straight okay so select the vertices and just make it straight
Now go over here. Let's take a rectangle over here. And I'm just making a copy after that we'll shift it over there. Go into rendering, enable in viewport and make it as a rectangular over here and increase its length. So once you're done, you can just keep this <coughs> over there. Go into this view, take a line tool over here. Let's just draw a line tool. Again, let's just draw a line tool over here. Again, draw a line tool over here. Again, just draw a line tool. So once you're done, we can just select this all and we can just push it inside this. And this way. That's it. So let's just select it and let's just give one color to it. And for now, I'll just uh, group this. I'll just select this. I'll push it over here. I'll go to the top view over here. I'll slightly rotate it. And again, I'll slightly I'll rotate it. Slightly just scale it and place place it over there. Okay, but uh, make sure uh, it's like it should be on the top. So if you look at it properly over here, we have to just push it up. Alright, so just place it in that way. So select this and let's again uh, mirror it <coughs> and just drag it over here. take over here so we'll just delete this all first select this mirror it okay perfect So just set it perfectly in that way over here. You don't need this. You can just delete this stuff. You can just scale this over here again. So select this whole thing and just give one color to it that's it all right so again go over here let's just take a box over here just drag it over here Convert to editable poly. Scale it. So 
so let's go into the vertices just drag it down just push it up like this way. so we can just select this edges and just push it up just scale it and just duplicate it over here that's it so just save your file again over here all right so guys if you have any doubts please write it in the comment section over here So we'll continue the rest of the part in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching this tutorial.